one good placement for planet is also when the planet is situated in his friendly rashi when we reach from exaltation on mulatrikon on sign vargottam retrogression to planet in friendly sign of course the planet is less powerful as compared to that but at least it is better than the other conditions because at the end planet being placed in friendly sign is a favorable condition as we have learned before that exaltation retrogression planet in own sign mul trikon may give multiplicity also planet in friendly sign does not give multiplicity at all so whereas it is a normal condition for fourth lord where it will give only one property one vehicle at a time to the native it is good for planets like seventh lord being in a friendly signs at as it indicates that one will be married once only of course generally when we are saying multiple marriages we are also saying that the first or the second marriage is not good that is why the person is coming out of that marriage and going into different so in things related to marriage planet in friendly sign is actually better as compared to the seventh lord being exalted or anything as such this is the first thing that you need to understand one more thing is there exalted planet debilitated planet planet in mool trikon planet in own sign this may give a lot of financial prosperity etc whereas planet in friendly sign does not give much financial prosperity right so this is a negative part it does not give multiplicity this is a neutral part because sometimes you may need multiplicity also and sometimes you may not need it right for example seventh lord you don't want it to be multiple so there the seventh lord in friendly sign is good other planets are friendly sign are mediocre but to say mediocre is not the best explanation like it is good it is good and it is the first step of being good other conditions are better this is a good condition when the planet goes into friendly rashi now one thing is there the planet in friendly rashi you know it generally gives better result than a normal planet than a planet in inimical rashi or a planet in debilitation rashi it gives better result than that now we should understand one thing what does a friend do a friend will help you a friend will support you a friend will come to your rescue so the planet who is in friendly rashi comes to your help also that means to say that whenever you are into dilemma for example seventh house is influenced by multiple planets some good planets also some bad planets also of course good planets will give you good results but sometimes these good results can go wrong also provided the fact that these good planets are or strong planets are lord of bad houses in that scenario planet in friendly house will come to your rescue and it will make sure that at least you live a respectable life so help support is given and in dasha of a planet who is in friendly sign you are helped and supported help and supported by your friends help and supported by your family members but help and support is there so this is very good secondarily taking on the ways of a planet in friendly rashi is good beneficial right and it uh, you know secures your position in life so this is very good in that particular regard it is told that planet who is in friendly rashi is a calm planet this is something that you have to understand calm planet as in in the dasha antar dasha of this planet your life is in calm your life is in control that means to say there is no major bad events which are disturbing you there are no major setbacks which are disturbing you or things which tend to anger or which tends to instigate you are not happening in your life the life is cool calm and controlled also in the dasha antar dasha of this planet everything is almost taken care of so you don't have to worry about things you know the source of income profession respect name fame status in life is well sorted out so you don't worry much about things and you can actually enjoy so the real thing that is related to enjoyment only this planet can give you it will give you in the dasha antar dasha 
and also related to the houses which the planet owns where the planet is situated in where the planet is aspecting related to those houses also so you say a planet in friendly sign is situated in the 11th house in that particular scenario your income because it indicates that you are calm that means your income is sufficient enough to meet all your expenses and little bit money you are saving also so you are into a calm state of mind you are not worrying Right, so planet in friendly sign keeps you tension free, keeps you worry free. Is one of the most important thing that you have to understand. And this planet gives you good result. This planet makes you worry free. This planet makes you tension free. The planet who is into friendly sign. Most importantly, in the areas signified by the houses where this planet is situated, houses owned by this planet, and houses respected by these planets, you are well supported. So you say if the seventh lord is going into, you know, friendly sign or a planet in friendly sign is situated in the seventh house in that particular scenario in your marriage, your life partner supports you, your family members supports your choice of life partner. So good support is there, good stability is there and you don't have to worry about things. So things are taken care of. Most importantly, many a times I will say that exaltation, retrogression of planet in own signs may indicate extremes of nature, right? Person is extremely good or person is extremely bad or extremely egoistic. But of course, this is not good for the spiritual progress or not good to live in the society. Balanced personality, calm personality, where the person is not at an extreme but into a balance is indicated by this planet in a friendly ratio. So generally, when the Lagana Lord goes to friendly Rashi, it indicates a balanced, calm personality. When the seventh Lord goes into friendly Rashi, the life partner have a balanced and calm personality, which is very good. When you take advice from such people, you actually succeed in life. So this is very good. This is very better. But as compared to other things, right? These are some of the benefits that planet in friendly sign is getting over other planets. At any given point of time, this is giving more than normal result. A planet in a friendly sign is giving more than normal result. So whatever result it is providing, it is at least better than general result. It is better than what people are generally getting. And it is good also. And most importantly, the result is sufficient enough so that you don't have to worry. And the results are sufficient enough to sustain yourself. Right? This is the speciality with planet in a friendly Rashi. Not only that, when we talk of resources, see when the planet is exalted or when the planet is Varguttam and all of these things, the resources related to different houses. For example, in 7th house, getting life partner is a resource. 11th house, getting source of income is the resource. So in the case of exaltation, planet in own sign, etc., to find the resources, you will have to do the hard work and you will have to do things but the speciality with planet in friendly sign is that you don't have to do much of a hard work but the resources are provided by others and because the resources are generally provided by others you don't have to worry about it this also in contributes to the calming nature of the, the calming nature of the planet who is going into friendly sign. as told before also the results will be generally felt in the dashanta of the sha and suitable changes should be made while analyzing the horse. So these are the few things related to planets in friendly signs. Certainly this planet is a better planet. Now the main part here is regarding the friendship enmity. Because when we are saying planet in friendly sign, what are the friendly signs? We have to understand. Because what I have seen that people generally think there is only one type of friendship enmity in astrology, which is not true. Multiple types of friendship enmity is there. I have made a video on it before also. You can watch that. But let me explain it to you once again. What is the friendly sign for a planet? When we are talking of it, you should refer to this particular table. So according to the table, what you should do? You should take the Mulitrikon Rashi of the planet. Mulitrikon Rashi of the planet, I have already discussed in one of my videos. From this Mulatrikona Rashi, the Rashi which is falling in the, like Mulatrikona Rashi is the Mulatrikona Rashi. Other than that, the Rashi falling in the second house, fourth house, fifth house. Right, so I will write. 
the rashi falling in the second house the rashi falling in the fourth house the rashi falling in the fifth house the rashi falling in the eighth house the rashi falling in the ninth house and the rashi falling in the twelfth house are the friendly rashis right and this calculation should be done from the muladhrikona rashi of the planet so you take sun which are the friendly rashis for sun so the muladhrikona rashi for sun is leo so leo is the muladhrikona rashi other than that virgo is a friendly rashi scorpio is a friendly rashi sagittarius is a friendly rashi pisces is a friendly rashi aries is a friendly rashi and cancer is a friendly rashi for sun of course you know that aries is an exaltation rashi should should not be taken as a friendly rashi it should be taken as an exaltation rashi that right? if the better condi if other conditions are also matching other than friendly rashi then the other condition should be taken for moon the mool trikon of moon falls into taurus so taurus is mool trikon and exaltation other than that gemini is a friendly rashi cancer is own rashi only so should not be taken as inimical Leo is a friendly Rashi. Virgo is a friendly Rashi. Sagittarius is a friendly Rashi. Capricorn is a friendly Rashi, and Aries is also a friendly Rashi for Moon. Now coming to the next planet, Mars. Mars has its Moon trigon in Aries, so Taurus becomes a friendly Rashi. Cancer becomes a friendly Rashi. Leo becomes a friendly Rashi. Scorpio is own Rashi. Sagittarius becomes a friendly Rashi, and Pisces also becomes a friendly Rashi for Mars. Now coming to Mercury, as you may know, Mercury have its own Rashi exaltation, Muldrikon in Virgo. Other than that, Libra is a friendly Rashi for Mercury. Sagittarius is a friendly Rashi for Mercury. Capricorn is a friendly Rashi for Mercury. right aries is a friendly rashi for mercury taurus is a friendly rashi for mercury and leo is a friendly rashi for mercury coming to jupiter jupiter have its mool trigon in sagittarius so capricorn becomes a friendly rashi pisces becomes a friendly rashi aries becomes a friendly rashi cancer becomes a friendly rashi leo becomes a friendly rashi and scorpio also becomes a friendly rashi for jupiter now coming to venus libra is the mool trigon rashi so scorpio becomes a friendly rashi capricorn becomes a friendly rashi aquarius becomes a friendly rashi taurus becomes a friendly rashi gemini becomes a friendly rashi and virgo also becomes a friendly rashi for venus but virgo is debilitation so virgo should be better taken as debilitation now for saturn aquarius is the mool trigon rashi so pisces becomes a friendly rashi taurus becomes a friendly rashi gemini becomes a friendly rashi virgo becomes a friendly rashi libra becomes a friendly rashi and capricorn is own sign only so should not be taken as a friendly rashi these are the friendly rashi of planets and when planet is in friendly rashi the planet is supported and because the planet is supported he supports you as well in the significations of the planet in the dasha antar dasha of the planet and most importantly in the case of marriage planet in friendly sign is the best planet. because it does not indicates multiplicity so this is the best position of the planet to have planet in friendly signs specifically in the case of marriage right most importantly planet which is in friendly sign gives you ease as you don't have to do the things right generally others do the thing and you are in a position of enjoyment only also because this planet makes you calm you don't have to worry about much things generally things are taken care of and it gives you balanced personality also so according to me for the person to have balanced personality or for the person to succeed in life at least one or two planets in friendly signs have to be there and while considering the friendly signs because generally as you consider friendship enmity you take that mercury is neutral to sun now in this particular scenario mercury is neutral to sun that is okay but which rashi of sun should be taken as good or bad or friendly or inimical to sun which rashi of mercury should be taken or friendly which rashi of mercury should be taken as friendly or inimical to sun there can be confusion into that 
so this principle which is the basis of how the general friendship enmity the general friendship enmity that everyone uses in the astrological world how it is derived this principle is the basis for that and using this principle we should decide which are the friendly rashis for the planets as i have explained just now and using this the prediction should be made.